So I was recently talking to a friend, an old friend, who told me that he has a major dilemma, uh, whether he should uh, go to Harvard or focus on building a private equity business. A uh, private equity business is basically a business that's its main purpose is to buy other businesses and make profits like that. Just like people buy real estate, these people buy businesses. So. Uh, the reason being was that he's only 18 and he was very very confused and he told me that it was a long time dream of him something he a goal to go to Harvard and that's why he always got A's and he took massive action on it and that's why it was confusing to him so I asked him uh, look why is it your goal to go to Harvard this isn't like, uh, you know, I, me wanting to be famous since I was a kid. You don't wake, grow up and like, oh, I want to be at Harvard before you know what Harvard is. So it has to have a purpose behind it. It means I, I intuitively knew it's not the goal. It's, it's, part, it's, it's a tool to get, sorry for the wind, it's a tool to get to the goal. So he told me that he believes that by studying in Harvard he's going to get connections network and 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 get connected with super successful business owners and people that uh, is gonna you know these kinds of connections are gonna serve him and help him in business uh, infinitely so I, I understood the discrepancy so basically he believes that by going to Harvard being successful there he'll meet a lot of business owners and be successful with it so i told him that about a year ago um, after returning from dan Pena's castle i came back to israel and in about a month and a half i had met more than 10 multimillionaires and recruited three of them to join uh, sort of this team i was setting up and how did I do it? I just um, knocked on doors, made phone calls, and sent over 10,000 emails in one month. Just massive action, this is pretty simple. And that, what if I told you that you can actually get your destination, basically get your goal of uh, networking with all these successful people at age 18, right now, without having to go to five years of Harvard and spend, you know, over a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars in student debt, which is insane, completely insane. So, so he said that if he can do that, then obviously that, that serves the point. So what I want to try to um, get through here in this video is that always question where your goals are coming from there are goals that I call like goals from the gut you know the the love goals that you have uh, which are goals that you set because you want them just to get them like I want like me for example I really want to be famous um, I want to be uh, very rich uh, but not not as a, the goal but as a byproduct of that um, you know, I'll travel the world, which I do. Um, I want to have an amazing body that I'm proud of. I want to be mindful, be present to the moment most of the time, if not all the time. Uh, you know, that's just one of many goals, some of many goals. But the point is these goals are, you know, uh, I also uh, want to write 50 books in my lifetime. Uh, you know like two three books every year that's why I write ten or more pages every day uh, that's 3,600 pages a year and the reason I do that uh, there's no nothing tied to it it's not like oh once I have this then I could have that or I do this for that it's like I want it because I want it I want to be famous because I want to be famous I want to be mindful because I want to be mindful these are things that are inherent that I know I'll want no matter what, I don't need to explain or rationalize why I want them. 
I just do. They're not means to an end. But when most people set goals, and I used to do that too, obviously, I would set goals, you know, I call these goals like for, for when, if, once I, when I, if I could. These are goals that are like reliant on future. You know, once I do that, then I can do that. Once, once I do that, then I'll be happy. If I'll have that, then that will be good. And you always want to find like, what's the root purpose? Why, why am I doing what I'm doing? So all this guy's thinking is, is secondary. It's like Harvard, 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 Harvard. Okay, but what's the root? It's like network, network, network. And I'm like, dude, you can do that without Harvard. I can show you how to meet multimillionaires this month. So, so would you still want to go to Harvard? And I don't really remember, you know, how the conversation went after that, but, but you know, the idea is <laughs> no, like, like not, that kind of makes it um, uh, pointless unless you actually wanted to go to Harvard to, uh, for another purpose. Uh, but let's say it's even, you know, to make your parents proud. Well, uh, do you have to go to Harvard to make them proud? Uh, let's say you become a multimillionaire uh, without going to Harvard. Are they not going to be proud? So always think where your goals are coming from. I'm not saying that you need to doubt them or you need to, to uh, you know, undervalue them or something, but just ask where is this coming from? Is this the root goal? Like, is this just the goal? Go to Harvard? Like, if I just go to Harvard, will I be happy? That's the point? No. If I go to Harvard, I'll be able to network and then I'll be happy. Cool. So the goal is network. So if I can offer you a better way to achieve that goal, would you prefer that? Okay, I, I want to be famous, but if I'll go to like the root of it, I want to be famous by helping people. Like that's the, the true goals. I want to be famous because I help so many people and I changed so, so many lives. So if you're like, hey, would you just want to be famous? Like, no, I'll, I want to be famous for doing this. <laughs> Uh, so I hope this makes sense. Uh, really look at all your goals. Um, um, try understand, to understand where they're coming from. This is extremely important because if you've got the wrong uh, goals or if you have secondary goals and you're not aware of it, you could easily end up wasting time, losing motivation. Uh, maybe even, that's a tough one, maybe even achieving your goals and then realizing like you just wasted time because <laughs> that's not what you wanted. Because this guy could have gotten like into Harvard He's like, hey, look, <laughs> there's not that many chance to network, chances to network here that I didn't have, you know, back home with, with a phone <laughs> uh, or LinkedIn or something. So take this topic in mind. Uh, feel free to ask me any question that you want. I'd love to help you. Subscribe if you haven't. And I do coaching, so uh, contact me. I'd love to help change your life for the better.